everyone, and welcome to the Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast. I am your host, Holly. I live in Virginia with my husband, my two kids, my cat, and my dog. This is a crochet... <sighs> this is a podcast... Pod... <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a podcast about what I'm crocheting, the yarn I'm hoarding, and occasionally what I'm knitting. Um, I just wanted to say welcome back to all new viewers. Welcome back to new viewers. Oh my gosh, my brain. Welcome back to all returning viewers and welcome to all new viewers. Um, yeah, <laughs> good morning. Uh, my brain is not working. It's not functioning apparently. Oh, but I have to show you guys. So I got this cute new mug. Find joy in the journey, right? I love... Sorry, there was like coffee dripping. <laughs> I love going to the Dollar Tree and finding like cute little inspirational mugs. They have another one about courage and I was gonna, I was so tempted to get that one. But I felt like I needed that cup in my life at the moment. Enjoy the journey. So let's get started. There is a Ravelry group for this uh, podcast. It is the Crochet, yarn journey crochet podcast group um all the links and show notes will be below as well as in the ravelry group um yes my hair is a mess this is a very casual sunday recording um no makeup hair is not done i've just been kind of over it this week guys i'll tell you i have been over it <laughs> um so yes, last episode, so I guess this is a little little chatter before chatter. <laughs> um, last episode I did record at night and I was totally tipsy and I forgot a lot, a lot of stuff because apparently I was one track mind when I'm a little, little tipsy. Um, <laughs> but I will be telling you guys that we will have more uh, midnight specials midnight tipsy specials just because my husband does work once or twice a month on the weekends so that means i have to record at night if i'm going to record at all so we will be having more of them so if you enjoyed it and you laughed your butt off at how ridiculous i was <laughs> you will get more of it <laughs> um also, the cowl and giveaway winners will be announced at the end of the video. One, because I still have not pulled the video winner yet. <laughs> I know last week I didn't even mention that I was only going to be doing this for a week, the giveaway. So I apologize if you miss out on it. But I will wait until the end of the video to pull the winners. Um, also, I wanted to know if you guys had any ideas or if you, what you wanted to see other than podcasts if you just want podcasts that's fine but i was thinking more like um stash videos maybe or um yarn reviews uh i tend to do the hauls on the podcast but maybe you want a separate video for hauls or maybe if i have ones that are really big that take too long like when i had that joanne's haul that took forever to go through and I didn't go, like, I went through it real quick, and I didn't talk about really much about it. Um, so, yeah, if there's anything like that, um, let me know. I would love to do tutorial videos, but I just don't have the camera set up for it. Because I record on my, um, my computer, and I don't have an actual, like, fancy camera. Which I told my husband that when we get our tax returns that... I'm getting a fancy camera. So maybe tutorials. Ow. I don't know. We'll see. But if you have any ideas of anything you may want to see from me, let me know. I would be super interested in hearing it because I love recording the podcast, but I kind of like, it's like I got, I'm itching to do something else to add to it. Like I, I'm going to be doing the fiber of friends tag after this, with my husband, when he wakes up, so I love these little tag videos. They're so much fun. Okay, anyways, let's get into the crochet, shall we? 
Um, finished objects. I have one, two, three, four, or technically three, but I have four, actually five, but I don't know where the other one's at. So um, I'm sorry if I look really tired. Like right now, this, this eye is just like raccoon central dark circle. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so last week I was inspired to do the face scrubby, which I will show you that one first. I made another set and I love these. Oh my gosh, that's why I made a second set because they're amazing for your face. Like even if you can't exfoliate with like an exfoliating wash, this is great for it. Like those popcorn stitches. Hello. Oh, and it's so soft and I love it. But I made another set. This yarn is Paintbox Cotton DK in slate green. Um, it's blowing out a little bit. It's a little, it's not that bright. I would say it's that color, just not that tone. It's darker. So, yeah, I love these. But I made another set of those. Like I said, I made two, but I don't know where the other one's at. My son likes to grab my stuff and run off with it. Okay. I have a fan going, but I have a jacket on. I know I'm totally weird, but I feel like naked without my jacket, so I want my jacket on. Which, by the way, like, honestly badass in training right can we can we as women and crocheters and knitters or whatever like we as women and men too i mean men can feel like badasses in training but i feel like my alter ego is like totally angelina jolie insult total kick ass right like spy extraordinaire even though she was like a double triple agent or some baloney she was a double agent until they killed her husband uh, sorry if i just totally spoiled that movie but that movie's been out for years so <laughs> okay anyways we were talking about fo's not movies um the next one is a washcloth and i say washcloth because i am not going to use these on my dishes let's be honest i'm not so Emma grabbed this out of my cotton stash. I was like, mom, can you make something for me? And I was like, sure, I'll make you some colorful washcloths you can use in the bath. And she loves them. She hasn't used them yet because I'm like, no, you can't use them. They're mine until the podcast. So <laughs> I'm sure she's going to be dying to uh, take a bath today. So this is Lily Sugar and Cream in the colorway Psychedelic. And, um, you know, this week I was just not feeling crocheting from patterns or making patterns, <laughs> even though I did it. I just, I think, what was it? Monday or Tuesday night, I was just like, I want to crochet, but I don't want to look at a pattern. I don't want to write anything down for a pattern that I'm making. I just want to simply crochet something that is absolutely and completely mindless. Hence the washcloth, which is kind of wonky. <laughs> this is my wonky one. This is the one I messed up on. So I made two. So we'll show the prettier one, the one that's actually more square. <laughs> um, all this is, is just, I chained, I believe 34 or 36. I believe it was 34. And just did basic double crochets and two rows of single crochet border. And that was it. Like I made two of the, no, I made one like in a couple hours of just sitting up late. And I was just like, I'm going to do something that I don't want to think about. <laughs> like, um, I will say with this color, it, um, not bled but the color rubbed off on my fingers. So by the time I was done, my hands like looked like a Smurf had just ran all over me 
or peed on me. Yeah, you know what I mean. I My hands and fingers were like a bluish green. So if you get this color, and honestly, when I bought this, I looked at it and I was like, I'm not going to like this. But I actually like the way it worked up. Um, in the skein, I was just like, there's way too much green, way too much green, but I love the way it came out. And like, again, these are blowing out. These are a lot more, they're a, a lot, yeah, a lot more saturated in person and right color, wrong tone, but I'm honestly looking forward to making a lot more of these just because I feel like, so I got one washcloth out of the lilies and cream and you can get those anywhere from a dollar 99 to 3.99 which i never buy them at 3.99 ever i always buy them on sale so 249 the most and i always use coupons because i buy them at joann's so I love these because I feel like these are going to last longer than the really cheap cotton or like the really cheap ones you can buy from Walmart, which are the ones we tend to buy because my husband is a uh, frugal is a nice way to put it. He does not like to spend money on stuff like that. He just like nice washcloths for $10. Oh, heck no. Let's get the ones that are like $3.50 for a pack of six. <clears throat> and then he wonders why they're all holy and stuff within the next couple months. Like they're really cheap and like all it takes is one snag and the whole freaking thing just there's a massive hole in it. So I like these because I feel like these are going to last a lot longer. And yeah. So those are the ones that I've crocheted. Now I have a knitted one too. So if you don't like knitting, just... I won't be talking about it long, so just go a minute or two forward. Um, so, yeah. So, my son has very, very sensitive skin. He has eczema. Um, we have to use scent-free fragrance, like, scent-free fragrance-free. That's the same thing, stupid. Fragrance-free, dye-free, like, free of everything, basically. <laughs> And his skin is super sensitive, and I don't like using the washcloths that we have on him because they are really rough. And so I made him this. They're totally girly-ish colors, but I don't care. Like, it's a washcloth, whatever. Um, so, yeah, um, I totally knitted this. And so I did, I thought I did five rows of garter to start but i'm starting to think that wasn't true i think i maybe did like one two three i only did four rows but i did five rows up here and it looks like i did six so i don't know and then i just did like a five row garter and then knit and purl on this part and then just basically garter edges to get a little of that scrubbing action, but the middle part is still so soft. And honestly, I love this stretch, like, hello. I think that's the one thing that knitting really has going for itself, is the stretch. Like, you can knit anything and it's going to be stretchy as hell. And I'm just like, we don't get that with crochet. And I think that's because Knitting is interlocking loops, where crocheting is more like interlocking knots that aren't actually knotted, if that makes sense. Close up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so this is, this is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton. Um, it's 100% cotton, and this is in their spring ombre color and I'll tell you what I, I mean I made his washcloth a little smaller just because he's a baby he's smaller so I made his a little smaller and plus I didn't know how big like with crocheting you can see how big it's gonna be like chain wise and then 
but with knitting it's a little harder because it does stretch so obviously it's like not nearly as big um so i wanted to make his a little well they ended up a little smaller i didn't make it smaller but it made sense because he's smaller so yeah i used the spring ombre and this there's so much yarn left in this that i could probably make another two maybe even three but I'm, gonna, I'm trying to use up my cotton stash because I have, I don't have a lot, but I have enough that it's like, okay, I need to use some and I want to buy more. Like I'm trying to rotate if that makes sense. So yes, that is my last finished object. Um, just so we can get washcloths out of the way, I did start another face scrubby. This is the back the back um this one is paint box yarn dk in raspberry pink like i said blowing out completely same color wrong tone <laughs> that's gonna be the story of my life right color wrong tone so that i am working on too um and i don't know if i said it or not but i do have those for free on ravelry and a dollar ninety nine on um, Etsy. So, next up is Pinkie Pie. Now, I say that with that face because Pinkie Pie has been a royal pain in my, you know. So, leg one. Leg two, leg three, <laughs> leg four. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but they're all different sizes. So, Pinkie Pie is gonna look a little wonky, but I don't care. At this point, I just want Pinkie Pie done. And she's not gonna be done by Monday. There's no way, I don't know what in the ever loving mind i was thinking i don't know where i was going with that saying because that didn't make any sense but i don't know what i was thinking thinking i was gonna get it done by monday or my daughter's birthday i think maybe because i was like oh these legs aren't taking that long the rest of it shouldn't her body is the biggest part and it is taking me forever so literally i busted out the fourth leg in one night i kid you not I drank coffee at 10 o'clock at night or eight. I don't know. I drank some coffee at night and I was like, I am staying up to finish this leg. If I, if it kills me and I did, but I started, I gotta put these to the side. I started the body and guys, this thing, well, one, it's covered in dog hair because for whatever reason, I went to the store yesterday and I bought some fun goodies and my son decided he was going to drag it around. And so here's the body. And at first I was like, this is like a flat side and it's like totally rippling right now because it's not stuffed. Um, so, and then I was looking, I was like, her butt isn't flat, right? Like it's not. Like, I thought body, it's going to be more round. But my daughter ended up having her birthday, and we got her a giant set of My Little Ponies. And not, like, the little ones that you can buy for, like, $3 each. No, we got her the big set. So they're, like, ponies, <laughs> you know? Um, and I put Pinkie Pie down, and I was like, no, her butt's flat. So but staying flat. And I'm going to tell you right now, I am not pulling out all this work and it doesn't look like a lot. It doesn't, but it is, it's a lot. Like this is going to be her back. And then this is like seven and a half inches wide. It doesn't look like that because I haven't stuffed it and it's like all ripply and stuff. And oh my gosh, I cannot hold on to this thing. Um, but it's supposed to be 12 inches, 12 and a half inches long. 
or 11 and a half. I don't know. I have to check my measurements again. But it's supposed to be huge. This is going to take me forever. Forever. So, I was like, I was so stressing it this week. And because I was stressing so much, I didn't even work on it a lot. Like, I didn't really start working on it, working on it until Friday. Which is when I got the leg done and then I worked on it. No, no, no. Thursday is when I worked on it. Sorry, that scared me because I think my daughter got out of bed and freaked me the hell out because it was like, doo -doo. I thought someone fell. <laughs> um, so I finished the leg Thursday, started this Friday night. Or no. No, no, no. I finished it on Friday night and then started this the same night and I worked on it most of yesterday until I needed a break. Um, and the pink I am using is Red Heart Super Saver in baby pink. And then the color for the hair that I'm going to be using, which is actually a little too bright, but oh, hiccup. I hate that. I always get these random one hiccups. Um, this is in shocking pink. So, yeah, I have just been like, I don't know what I was thinking. This thing is massive. First off, like this thing is going to be <laughs> huge. Like when she said giant, I literally took that word and I was like, I'm running with it. But I gave myself a completely unrealistic deadline. Like it is not going to be done. It's not. Like, my, my goal was, like, I want it done by Monday. I want it done by Monday. There's there's no way that's happening. Like, no freaking way. So, yeah. That's not happening. I'm, I'm going to continue to work on it and probably try and work on it exclusively. So, next week, the podcast might be really short. <laughs> um, because I, I'm going to try and get that finished. I know it's not getting finished next week. Like I, that's not happening, but I want to work on it continuously so I can try and get it done. Um, the next object I worked on <clears throat> is knitting. So if you don't like knitting, go about five minutes ahead. I'll put the number down here, but it's only one thing. So I shouldn't be lost. Um, I worked on my daughter's Brighten My Day Wrap, and we were here last week, <laughs> so I made a little bit of progress. Like, every week, I think I make about two inches of progress. So, here's what we're looking at so far. It's kind of like this trapezoid shape, but I kind of like it. It reminds me of the, um, my sister shawl. I wasn't even doing that with the, uh, Stitch and Sisters. By the way, I love them. I love watching them. They're amazing. Um, but I started doing this right around the time they started, I believe their MCAL. And my scarf <laughs> or wrap or whatever is the same shape as their, um, shawl. But yes, that's where I'm at. And this is going to take me forever. Like knitting takes me forever. It took me a week to finish that washcloth. <laughs> a week. Um, so we have Red Heart Super Saver in Day Glow for the bright highlighter colors. And then for the white, I'm just using, um, Big twist value in white. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah. That's what I've been working on. I'm still waiting for needles. So I could do my flax sweater. But 
it seems like the only place that had a 5.5 millimeter needle on a 32 inch cord or cable, they're all in the UK. So I'm waiting for it and it's taking forever. And I'm hoping like my package did not get lost in the mail. Cause I would really stink. So let's move on to hoarding. Oh, sorry, my luggage. I, it seems like ever since I was pregnant, when I was pregnant with my son, I ended up being allergic to my prenatals. I'm allergic to magnesium stearate, which is just a natural filler that they put in most pills. And, oh my gosh, like every time I have to take pills, the back of my kneecaps itch like crazy. Oh my God, like crazy. And I was on antibiotics and they have it in there and my legs have just been itchy, so itchy. Okay, so we have some hoarding, hoarding. Um, I'll get into, yeah, we'll do the hoarding first. So I ended up getting felt pieces for Pinkie Pie. So black, yellow, blue, white. Um, just because I'm not a fan of the way crocheted eyes look. I like felted eyes. And I also have to do the balloons on her butt. And I want the, like I said, I want this to look as accurate as possible. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue them together, stitch, like put a dab of hot glue to hold them together so I can stitch them together because I feel like if I try holding them together, I'm going to F it up. So I got these. Um, and then, yay, is this a coupon? Happiness is handmade. Okay. Oh, here's a 20... 20% off your total purchase. And I think this is expired now. Okay. I'm trying to get all these receipts out the way. Okay. Oh. Oh. So, I bought three more balls of the Premier Everyday yarn. This is not the same one that I have here. Same color. So this one says Deborah Norville premiere every day. This one's just their everyday collection. But well, they're the same color. Uh, this one might be a, just a teeny bit lighter, but it's still oat heather. I love this color, guys. Like, it's tonal. And it, like, I love tonal colors instead of just flat color. I mean, flat color has its place. But I feel like for garments, I love tonal colors because it adds some dimension if you're working a plain sweater. So, I got three balls of that. Uh, but this is not for my sweater. My mother-in-law has commissioned me to make her a scarf and I think I'm going to make the scarf that is the one with the little doggy paw prints on it so that's what I'm going to make her with these I don't think I'm going to need three but I bought three just in case um so yeah um whoop. next I bought this this is red heart with love and this is the colorway tiger lily um i was asked by Lacey of the um, hooked on owls podcast to test crochet her fox pattern which i am so looking forward to because those are going to be easter presents for my kids so i'm going to i had to go get the yarn for it because i have no orange at all so i had to get some orange yarn for that um that is really soft too that's nice and I got more lilies and cream. 
Um, this is in the color Overcast, and I got two of those because as much as I like the rainbow colors, I do like some just neutral colors for washcloths. And like I said, you're going to be seeing a lot of washcloths for me. A lot. Probably within the next week or so. Because working on Pinkie Pie, I'm going to have to need a break mentally. Because right now I'm having to figure out how to shape the body. I might do shaping. I might not. I might just make a tube and just say call it a day. Um, but her head and neck is going to take a lot of shaping. Um, so this next one, I got two Lily and Cream. Oh, Lily Sugar and Cream in Ecru. Ecru? Ecru? So it's basically just an off-white. I didn't want white just because it's going to end up looking dingy anyways. So I might as well get something that's a little off-white and it won't look bad. And then, of course, Emma picked Over the Rainbow. There we go. That's more accurate. So she wanted this one. So I'm going to make her another washcloth out of this pretty color. Um, and then I got just some safety eyes, some 12 millimeter safety eyes. And these are animal noses at 18 millimeters. So I figured those would be a good eye nose combination. But now that I'm looking at that, that nose might be a little bigger than the eyes. But that's what I got on my first run to Japan. <laughs> oh, no. Don't lose it. So let me put that all back in the bag. I have to go put these in my... I went to... What was it? Um, the Dollar Tree yesterday. And they have all these... So see this pop-out... Oh, you can't see it. But they have these pop-out totes right here that are... Like they pop out and you pop the cardboard in the center and they stick up like a bin. Well, they had those at the Dollar Tree. I bought six. I mean, they're not as good quality. They're not. The quality isn't as good as like, say, the ones you get from Target or um, oh, Target or like Bed Bath & Beyond or something. But whatever. And then I got this cute bag that says Live Simply. Because I love Joanne's bags. They're so adorable. So I also bought fabric. So I am going to show that. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with it. But I love them. So um, I got two. There we go. These are Lily Sugar and Cream, and these are Stripes. <gasps> Weird hiccup. This is called Mod Stripes. So it is this awesome teal and white with speckly green and um, like this real acidy green. There we go. Um. I know a lot of people apologize for their nails not looking the greatest, but I'm totally not going to apologize <laughs> <coughs> because as much as I would love to sit down and do my nails every day or every couple days, I don't. So you're just going to have to love me the way I am. <laughs> um, and this one, these are these awesome blues. You know what? Here. Not that that's going to help because this is white, but there we go. Right there. That is pretty much the color. I mean, the white is blowing out like crazy, but I got two of these as well. And these are called the dye stripes. Um, so, yes, yeah, I got two of those. That was all I got for yarn. And then they had the interweave magazine. And, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I was fawning over, let me see. Let 
this hoodie. Oh my God, here we go. There we go. It is awesome. It's a hooded cardigan and it's gorgeous and I want to make it. And I also loved this one for the men's. Oh my goodness. So this was $7.99, but I used the coupon. So here's all the patterns that they have in there. They have pajamas. What? So I love that they did like this one half, like this mysterious fairy tale type. Um, I can't think of the word. Um, collection, like a mysterious um, fairy tale collection. And then this like cozy collection down here although i don't understand why the tp is in there and some may even call cultural appropriation for it like i just don't get it so yeah i, I don't get it this would have been it's called the pampered collection right i think that's what it was called yeah pamper yourself why couldn't this have been like a spa setting? Why, why a TP? I don't understand. But, so it looks like you can get a two year subscription for $30 and they come out uh, seasonally, it looks like. So eight issues. I would love to do it, but because we're gonna be moving this year, I don't wanna get it and then never receive them because we move. So there's that. And then I got fabric. Oh my gosh, I got fabric. Okay, so the first one I got is this huge fleece. They are having a huge sale on fleece, like 60% off. Crazy, crazy stuff. So I feel like I am a Winchester at heart because I love plaid and I love flannel and I know Crowley always makes jokes about them wearing flannel and I'm not gonna lie I love the color and I love the pattern and at first I thought these were deer and then I noticed that it was moose and I was like moose so <laughs> I got this and it is a moose in these like little rounds like portrait thingies and then this blue plaid. I love it. And it's so soft. I got two um, yards of this because that makes like a perfect throw size because flannels uh, like flannel tend to be longer. So if I was to like unfold this, this would make a perfect size blanket at two yards. So I'm thinking I need to get a skip blade, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut this little white part off, but I'm thinking I'm going to skip blade it and crochet a border on it just to make it look a little more finished because although I could use this as a blanket like right now, it doesn't look very finished. So yeah, I'm trying to get this folded back together, <laughs> but I love it. And I love wildlife patterns like this. Like I love them so much. And you will see that with the rest of my so then I bought that they also have um they're having a sale on their flannel I think it's 25% off or something like that um so I got this one which is super cute with bears I love the wildlife ones that aren't like camouflage ones like, I'm meant to go live in a cabin or a little cottage out in the woods somewhere with rustic-y type decor because, yes, I love this one, too. And these two go together, clearly. They're bears, and they're both the same color palette. And 
I love deer. So I got this one too. Now, because these are flannel, well, this one doesn't feel like flannel. These two don't feel flannel. This one, the deer feels like flannel to me, but this one, not so much. They feel a little bit thicker, not thicker, but I don't know. It just feels more canvassy almost, but this one, I'm not going to make a bag, but I was thinking maybe these and this next one for sure. Obviously, I need to practice some more, though, with bag making, but it's Doctor Who. Now, the 12th Doctor is not my favorite Doctor. I love, oh my gosh, I'm completely forgetting his name. I think it's Sam Smith. No. The 11th Doctor. He is my favorite, and at first, I actually hated him. <laughs> Especially after David Tennant. Um, but it's 11th Doctor, then David Tennant's Doctor, and then this one. It is my favorite. The first one of this series, not the older, like, 60 series, because I've never seen those. The first guy, he just was not cutting it for me. But I love it. It's, like, comic books and King Fisher, or Fisher King. Oh, right here. I actually loved that episode. They had another Doctor Who fabric that was there. It was the um, the TARDIS exploding one, like the painting that they showed in uh, one of the episodes that seemed to make its rounds through all the time periods, apparently. And they had that one, and I was like, I really like it, but I feel like everybody has that one. And, of course, I can't be like everybody else, right? So I got this one, and this one was all like, almost gone. So I got a, um, a yard of that. So that is all I have for, for, well, no, I have one more thing, but I didn't buy it. I want it. So let me put this back. So I love, 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 love Bad Wolf Girl Sits in Knits podcast. Meg is just like this light of sunshine in the world and she is so sweet and I love when she nerds out because I feel like I'm the same way. <laughs> like I love it but I entered her was it 1500 or 2500 subscriber giveaway and I I freaking won. Like, I was so, so surprised. Like, she contacted me. She's like, you win. What's your address? I can send you some yarn. And I was like, oh. Like, I've been dying to get my hands on some of her yarn because, one, it's all, like, fandom related and adorable. <laughs> like, I love her colors. So, I, well, this one, this little strand's hanging out. I got this. This is totally blowing out. Oh my goodness. Hold on. You need to see these colors because it is beyond gorgeous. There we go. Here, let's... Oh my goodness. It is this beautiful speckled color. And I know I say I don't like bright highlightery type colors, but she did it well. Like it's not overly in your face and oh my god that is wool now i understand okay oh yes all the other ones i've bought i'm like i don't smell it i don't smell it and i smell it so i got this skein it is 75 percent super wash merino 20 percent now on five percent stellina so there is I think that's silver. Yeah, silver Stellina. And it's 462 yards in the colorway Happy Birthday. And her yarn dyeing company is Bad Wolf Girl Studios. And she gave me a little pin. Like, oh, how cute is that? Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love, like, this, like, splash of color. It's so cute and simple. 
And then she also gave me some, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Sow, sow. It's in the passion color or colorway flavor. Hibiscus, orange peel, rose hips, and passion fruit flavors. Oh my God, I'm gonna love this. Oh yes. So I won that and I was like, I've been dying to get some of my hands on some of her yarn. And she is having a trunk show here in two weeks, one week, one week. And I am like, I'm getting some of her yarn. I'm totally getting some of her yarn. And I won and that was like, now that I've squished it and felt it and seen it in person, I'm just like, I have to have her yarn. Oh my gosh. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put this on, but I think maybe I need to make that Doctor Who bag. And she's like a really big Doctor Who fan. And I'll put it on that bag because it just makes sense. Like, duh. <gasps> okay. Um, I think that's on to chatter now, which means giveaway winners, right? So let's see. Um, I'm going to do this a lot. Well, I have the giveaway. I have the winners for the cow um, already picked out. I just need to go to my Google Drive because I wrote it down on a piece of paper like a weirdo or like on an online document. Doo -doo -doo. It's taking forever <laughs> because, you know, I like to the suspense to kick in. You know what I'm saying? Um, crochet along. And now we will go to a YouTube comment picker. Google.com. And then we will do YouTube comment picker. Okay. So now I have to get the URL of the last video. Sorry for all the tapping if you're hearing it. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. You guys might hear my weirdness at the beginning. Okay, no you won't. <laughs> I lied. Okay, copy. We're gonna paste that URL. So, depends. Okay, so I'm picking two winners. So we will do that. Okay. You have 53 unique comments. So I was going to reply to everybody because um, everybody's sounded delicious, which I noticed salmon is a big thing right now. But I feel like it normally is during the beginning of the year with everyone trying to get in shape. So the first winner is, who will it be? Lisa Bradley. Um, she said, love sitting down with a glass or three of wine and crocheting at night. Best way to relax. Love your vlog. Congratulations on 5,000 subscribers. That's great. And then she goes on and on and on. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, but she said her favorite food is beef and noodles. Honestly, that sounds amazing. So Lisa, you are a winner. So please contact me. So I can get your address so I can send these to you. And then that was the first winner. So we'll say that was uh, Red Heart. So let me write that down. Lisa Bradley and Red Heart. Okay, now I'm going to have to refresh it because, you know, I got to do the second one. Repaste it. Oh gosh, who will it be? Got a random fiber. And the winner is Nicole Hogan, I believe. And she was telling me uh, the only way to get real socks is to crochet out of crochet is to be done with fingering weight. 
And she said her favorite food is collard greens. So, Nicole Hogan. Or Hagen. Not sure. You win the pink box prize. Okay. So now for the crochet along winners, um, there was four winners. Um, so the first winner was Michelle of Mickey Midge crochet chatter. She won the lion brand mandala gnome. Um, so I will be sending that out. Um, the second winner is the dabbling hook, which is Rel. She got Sphinx yarn, lion brand mandala Sphinx. The third winner is Laura, Lorna Marie Gray, who won the Crochet World Magazine. And Steffi Ram, which is Stephanie, I didn't have, uh, she won the Free Pattern from Evan Gaze podcast. And there was a bonus winner that I decided to pick from the chatter thread, which is Abby X. Um, she will be getting my free shawl pattern when it is released which I will say I am planning on releasing that pattern within this next week because I've heard back from three testers and they all caught the same issue. Actually four caught the same issue all at once. So I figured that was the only mistake. And Melinda Mills, who watches the podcast and as well as was one of my testers, she loved, she was being so lovely and actually edited my pattern for me. Um, so she was my unofficial pattern editor, <laughs> um, just to make it a little bit more readable and easy to understand because that is the goal, the easier to understand the better. So I'm hoping to have that pattern out within the next week. So if you guys could all get in contact with me and, um, send me your addresses on probably on Ravelry would be the best place because, um, that's where it took place. Um, for the giveaway winners, if you can contact me on Ravelry or Instagram, that would probably be better than YouTube because their messaging system is weird for me. But if you want to get in contact with me here, that works as well. But I need, I need your addresses so I can send them. I'm hoping to get them sent out within this next week or two. Um, for those that are overseas, you got to, you know, <laughs> expect a little longer. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting all these prizes out to everybody and, um, be ready for my pattern sometime next week. Um, I'm super excited about it. So yeah, um, chatter. So yes, chatter. That was, that sums up all the excitement for the week, you know, um, but there was something that I kind of wanted to talk about, but I wanted to wait to the end of the episode because it could be kind of a downer. Um, but I wanted to. <laughs> I don't know if everyone knows, but this past week in the United States, there was another mass school shooting in Florida. And I didn't want to start the episode with this because it would have been a real downer and it is a serious topic and I wanted to start out with the fun stuff, you know. I didn't want to bring the mood down, I guess. Um, so that happened this week on Valentine's Day, on Wednesday, this past Wednesday. So I honestly don't know what to say, but I know something needs to be said. I feel like in our yarn community, we are very proactive in social changes and the social community, whether it be the LGBTQ community, whether it is the women's rights community, you know, um, we're very socially active. And I feel like, and we're also very giving. We love 
charitable events. We love making things for charities. You know, we're a very giving community. And I feel like no one has said anything about this situation. And I know it's probably a fear of the whole political aspect of it. And I don't want to get into that at all because I know. <laughs> Stop, Emma. I know that it is very touchy. And I feel like that's probably one of the reasons why we have so many issues is because the two things that are most important to talk about and be understanding about when it comes to everyone's different opinions, we don't talk about it. And that is politics and religion. We don't talk about them. That's That was the number one thing, you know, my parents always told me when meeting somebody or, you know, having conversations with someone, those are the two topics you don't talk about. Don't bring up politics. Don't bring up religion because people are very passionate about those two things. And I feel that passion goes unchecked when we don't talk about it. And that's when people become very one track mind and unwilling to compromise. And if there is one thing that I've learned in my short 24 years of life is that life is about compromise. Marriage is about compromise. Politics needs to be compromised. Even religion at some point needs, there needs to be compromise with understanding one another. And this happening in our, in the States, there has been so many and It goes unchecked because no one wants to talk about it. You talk about it for the first two weeks after it happens and, you know, everyone is all gung-ho over social media about making change and my prayers are with you and stuff like that, but no one ever goes any further than that. And that is why I feel it's gone unchecked. And for the people who are in Florida, there is nothing I can say to make you feel better, to console you. Um, and I would, I don't know, how do I put this? Like, I could never imagine going through what you went through. To send my child to school, which is supposed to be one of the one safe places for them to go and having to worry about their safety that is terrifying to me, which is why I'm homeschooling my kids. But not everyone has that luxury to do that, unfortunately. Um, but if you are someone who was affected by the Florida shooting and you need someone to talk to, I am a open ear and metaphorical shoulder to cry on for you. Um, I just wanted to put that out there. And I feel like for things like this to stop, there needs to be change. And the only way that is going to come is if people like you and me write Congress, write our senators, vote, you know, make them listen. Because career politicians are not there for you. They really aren't. I feel like they're there for the money. They're there for the perks. They've been there so long. You know, it's just, they're there. It's easy money at this point for them. And I feel like we as a nation needs to shake things up. And I know that happened with the Trump election and I'm not gonna go into that at all. Oh my God. But we need to say stuff and not over social media. That's not gonna have any effect on our policymakers. We need to write, vote, and, you know, try and make a change because there are children dying and that's heartbreaking. <sighs> so I will leave it at that because um, I'm starting to cry like a baby. So I will see you guys all next week. I hope you have a wonderful week.